And before we go today, time for some reaction from a Chinese cartoonist about the changing views and ways education is being reshaped in other parts of the world and what China can learn from embracing different forms of education. Cao Yi is today's cartoonist, and this cartoon comes from his blog on QQ.com. In the picture, we can see two men, one with blonde hair who seems to be holding a golden wrench triumphantly, while the other one with black hair seems to be defeated and overcome by the weight of the tool. Recently, Maria Teresa Turian Borallo, the 43-year-old Spanish caretaker who was hired by Prince William and Kate Middleton to look after their bouncing baby boy, made her first public appearance down under earlier this month. Norland College, the Bath-based elite institute that taught Maria, has received attention as well. The training costs 36,000 pounds sterling, which is about 60,000 U.S. dollars in total. And the Bath College recently added martial arts training and stunt driving to its curriculum to cater to modern clients. Nannies are also trained in how to deal with paparazzi and are taken to Castle Combe Racing Circuit in Wiltshire to perfect their driving skills and learn how to drive at high speeds in any weather conditions. The news has caught attention from the Chinese media. The China Youth Daily reports on the comparison of the vocational training schools in China and in European countries. The report says that about two-thirds of young people in Germany, Switzerland and Austria have chosen occupational training after high school. By comparison, the enrollment levels in many vocational schools in China are low and many struggle to attract students despite high unemployment rates. The China Youth Daily says that the low enrollment level in China is due to the perception of occupations in China. It says that most Chinese people still harbor a lot of discrimination towards blue-collar work when comparing such employment to the civil service or white-collar workers, regardless of salary. The report suggests that the government could learn more from Western countries on the development of occupation training, but that there needs to be some fundamental change in people's attitudes in China in the first place.